Good afternoon. Many parts are the coldest morning temperatures of the season today. Morning lows drop down to minus 16.3 degrees Celsius here in the capital, with a cold wave warning being issued in the capital for the first time in two years. And even Busan and Ulsan are under the season's first cold wave advisory. And as for the daily highs, Seoul will get up to minus 10 degrees Celsius this afternoon. And it's going to be as sunny as yesterday, so be sure to use sunglasses, lip balm, and sunscreen. Now, this round of extreme cold weather will be with us until Friday. Then things may get slightly better, but we won't see highs in the positive territory for the time being. And you know, with the cold winter temperatures and the lack of sunshine, many people are at risk of the winter blues, such as feeling lazy and tired. And especially this winter has been real harsh on us. Well, these are some ways to help you embrace the seasons for a happier and healthier winter. So keep that in mind. With that, let's take a look at the international weather for viewers around the world. Well, most of South Korea is in a grip of an extreme cold snap. Most cities in North Korea will have even colder temperatures all day today. And as for the rest of Asia, Seoul is one of the coldest major cities in Asia, along with drier conditions. Meanwhile, those in Sydney should enjoy some sun today because starting tomorrow, cloudy skies will dominate. Heading to North America, skies will clear on Wednesday in New York as a cold front makes its way through the area, pushing high temperatures down to the freezing mark. And as for South America, Rio de Janeiro will have a scorcher at a high of 35 degrees Celsius. Taking you to Europe, Wednesday looks mainly rainy with a high of 14 degrees Celsius in London. But the sunshine is on the way for Thursday. Lastly, to Africa, concern is on the rise in drought-stricken Cape Town. The city moves up day zero date in April when it could run out of water. And that's all the weather update for now.